For at TV, the world is thinking. Well, you're right. I'm going to quote you again. Among the many factors which influence male-female economic differences, the most elusive is employer discrimination. Yes, that, that when you correct for all the various factors, such as the number of hours worked, uh, the continuous employment versus taking, time, taking a few years out to have, have children and so on, you take all that into account, mm -hmm. the differences between men and women uh, become quite trivial. If you look at the academic world, or as far back as 1969, women who were never married and who had, uh, earned higher incomes than men who had never married, they became a tenured professor at a higher rate than men who had never married. Uh, and then later on, if you look at the general population, if you take the women who are past the childbearing years and who work continuously, their incomes were higher than men who would work continuously and so on. So the difference is, is that not that the employer is paying them differently, but that they have different characteristics. So the central variable in explaining economic differences between men and women is not employer discrimination, not the rise of feminism. Mm -hmm. It's that women... It's, 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 it's child rearing, marriage and child rearing. That's yes. the variable. As that varies, uh, a women's uh, arrival or participation rate in high-level occupations varies with that. that that's Absolutely. the problem. Okay. Now, in principle, you note, family responsibilities could be perfectly evenly divided between fathers and mothers. But that isn't the way it has worked in practice. Quote, I'm quoting you again, since economic consequences follow from practices rather than principles, the asymmetrical division of domestic responsibilities produces male-female differences in income, close quote. Question, what are the policy implications of that? If we become fixed on eliminating male-female income differences, is it the case that the only choice, the only route for doing that, is to uh, involve the government in redesigning the very nature of the family? Well, the, the, or am I, draw, am I leaping to a melodramatic conclusion? No, no, no. Uh, yeah, and it's, and logically, that, that's certainly true. However, not, not all domestic responsibilities can be shared equally, such as having babies, uh, which is not an inconsequential thing since the existence of the human race depends on it. Uh, but what it, what it means is that women make choices that make a lot of sense for them. Uh, for, for example, the choice of occupations, that women tend not to go into occupations in which there's a very high rate of obsolescence. I mean, and if, if, if you're a uh, computer, in, computer engineer uh, and you take five years out to, uh, to have a child and have the child up to the age where you can put him in daycare, yeah. well, my gosh, the world has Your changed. Your job is gone. Yeah, yeah the, you'd have to start way, way, way back. Uh, on the other hand, if you become a librarian, you become a teacher, uh, other occupations like that, then you can take your five years off, come back, and pick up pretty much where you left off. 